What's going on everybody? This is Brandon Hill and today I'm going to show you how to make this glitchy vocal effect in Machine using the gate. And it's going to sound something like this. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is a chill house beat that I've made. I've laid out these different scenes in Machine. And then I have this going. I have this regular vocal going here, starting here. When we get this close, you and I alone. Then we have this build up going here, and it'll go into this vocal that's glitchy if you notice. Here's some more glitches over here. Okay, so how do we do this? So first things first, you need to load your vocals onto a track here. So I have these vocals that I got from Splice and I created clips and I added them to the song. I made sure the tempo was on time and I made sure the clip started on beat with that. So that's all a different lesson. What I really want to teach you here is how to create this glitchy vocal effect. So what I did here is when you have a vocal and you turn it into an audio module in a clip, it's going to be in loop mode by default. So playback mode will be in loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this from loop to gate. And when you change it from loop to gate, you will get this, for example, if we look here, if I change it back to loop, watch this right here. It goes away, and now if I click it there, it's activated and it's purple. When it's purple, it means the audio file is activated. When it's grayed out, or if it's uh, completely gone, that means it's not activated. So when I turn it to gate, let me just undo. So when I turn it to gate now, you see that it's grayed out. And with gate, you could pick certain parts of this loop that you want to play. So you could click there and let me solo this track so you could hear what that sounds like. And let me solo this group so you could just hear the vocal. We're right here. So I've clicked this, it's one bar, and you'll notice when I hit play, when we... and then it cuts out. And then if I go right here, basically it lets you pick and choose which parts of this audio file you want to play. When we... you and I alone. So there's that, and that's the fundamental. And the next thing that you need to know is the grid right here. What grid is your pad mode set to? Right now it's set to one bar. So you see how it goes from 21 to 22? That's one bar. When I click in here, it fills in a whole bar. But if I change this to half a bar, now you can see my grid is split. And now when I double click, now half a bar is set. Okay? And it's critical to understand this because this is how I created this glitch effect right here. So let's play this by itself. Okay, and how I did this, let's say I delete all this for now. And right now it's set to half a bar. So I click in there, it goes half a bar. But what I want to do is make it even smaller, like sixteenths, for example. Now when I click in here, let's see what that sounds like. Okay, and let's say I switched this to 130 seconds, which is what I did. Now I could fill it in and I could have a much glitchier sound because the gate is playing the audio at smaller, more often increments. And I could keep going to 164th, which I often did throughout this beat. And you just keep, you keep zooming in and you could click this in as you like. It doesn't have to be every other uh, 164th beat, but that's what I did here. And you could get creative. You could drag this on like that. So let's say if I deleted that and I dragged this on like that. So now let's listen. Okay, you see how that works? So let me undo all of that just to go back to what I initially had. Okay, so here we are with the original song, and that is basically the trick to it. You add the audio, you change it from loop to gate, and then with gate, you're able to start clicking in MIDI right here, if you will, and you could do it according to this grid. 
So you can go from one bar all the way up to 128. And one trick that is helpful and speedier when you're doing all this is this keyboard trick here. So one keyboard trick is that these buttons right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, when you hit them, it'll adjust the grid settings. So notice when I hit one, watch the grid here and there. And when I hit two, changes it to half bar. And you can notice this changing as well as this. 4, 16, 32, 164. So this could just speed up your workflow rather than clicking here and clicking the number. If I wanted to do 128, I could do that. I could click in here. Then I could go to 1 8 click in there, for example. You can do one bar and so forth. So that's how you do this. And you really just get creative and you could change it up. Like right here, I just have the whole vocal playing. And then it goes into these glitches here, which look like 1 8 or 1 16th. And then it might go into 1 30 seconds. You see that? Let's see how that sounds. Every time that I rock you slowly, yeah. OK, so it's really fun to get creative with this. And I'll play what happened here at the end. Right here, I kind of chopped up a bunch of clips that had this certain effect on it. And you could hear what the outro of the song sounds like. Let me stop soloing this and let me unsolo the group. So you could hear what this outro sounds like. <laughs> Here it comes. Okay, and that's how you create this glitchy vocal effect in Machine. Use audio, turn it into gate mode, and start getting creative of where you can place these MIDI notes. If you like this tutorial, let me know in the comments and like and subscribe if you want more tutorials on Machine and more tricks like this to help you be creative within the Machine. So with that, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.